is the Colorado Springs market doomed as we head into the summer of 2024, right? It's 2024, I forget what time, yes. it, what date it is. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to go over today, what we're seeing. We do a lot of real estate here, so we're going to go over what it looks like here in Colorado Springs, the monument area for the forecast, so stay tuned. So if we we rewind back to December, okay, and you pull up all those news articles, it seemed like we were going to be dying here in Colorado Springs for the housing market. So like Realtor.com for, for, forecasted that Denver and the Front Range, the Front Range includes Colorado Springs, Castle Rock, yep. um, actually up to Fort Collins, um, that home prices are expected to decline modestly in this area, up to 5% actually. Wow. And that's why I think there was a lot of talk, I guess, on, um, you know, Lori and I are in the real estate uh, market. And so we conversate not only with you all as buyers and sellers, but with other agents and our team. Um, and, and there was, there, there was like a real hesitation, yeah. but to be honest, I think it was more so what we were feeling from the perspective of like interest rate. And then you were reading all of that and it was, it was like doom, gloom, like what's the housing market going to do? But with that being said, we, we were still modestly busy, definitely a little bit slower, but these numbers that you've pulled, I think kind of support yeah. like this picture that we're going to lay out for you all. Yeah. When I thought about doing like this video, a lot of you guys commented, you wanted a market update, what we were seeing here locally. And I was like, gosh, in November and December, I do remember reading all those articles. Uh, the national we housing working. forecasted that growth was expected to decrease by 15%, like that sales growth. So there's a lot of like scare tactics out there. Um, and so I want to see what that looked like compared to what our actual market um, numbers were for April. Yep. And so that's what I wanted to look at. And then I was also have another statistic up here. I wanted to show you that Zillow, if you look at Denver, um, Denver had a huge housing burst. Well, and you always, like, I will, I will say because Denver's the biggest city, I guess, on the front range. And so we're kind of throwing all of these statistics um, and, and this doom and gloom, what we were hearing, it coupled in with like that Denver um, news headlines, yeah. I guess. And but we are talking specifically, um, and the numbers that we're going to show and prove are the Colorado Springs specific MLS numbers. Yeah, but so. Zillow had like Denver in the front range. 48th out of 50 on the hottest U.S. housing market. Kind of so they did not think that Denver specifically was going to have any type of housing market. They are maintaining strong, you know, as we go through 2024, that it's not as doom as it was they're predicting. But I do want to look at specifically Colorado Springs there yeah. as well. So I'm going to pull that up here, and I want to show you a couple of things. I'm going to switch us over um, to my computer screen here in a second. Okay, we're back. So if I look at this, um, you know, just the data on here, but they were saying in 2024, the best case scenario prices were going to be down 10% year over year in early 2024. That's quite a bit. I, we haven't seen that since like 2008. So I was like, ooh, what? that's scaring people a lot. Yeah. So then I was pulling, I went to our Pikes Peak MLS, which is our local um, housing market so the MLS is yeah, where we that. hang our license, <laughs> and the MLS is where anybody with a real estate license puts all of our inventory. It is also, just so you all know how this works, um, Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, all of those websites that the public, they've trained so well to do is go to their websites to look at what inventory is. Well, they actually buy those rights from our MLS, which is where Lori's pulling these numbers from. Um, and, and they advertise our MLS listings out to the public. They've just trained you to go to their websites. So with that being said, this is like straight statistics from our local housing market. And the pi There's no fluff MLS is numbers. Pikes Peak MLS. Yeah. So these are the numbers that were recorded in with our uh, real estate commission here locally in El Paso County. Yeah. So let's go back over to that. A lot of times you see the different like um, statistics that come out. People have different ways of interpreting them or like they'll skew, skew them. them to like what they want to say. But these are directly from our MLS, exactly what we're seeing here. So that's why I wanted to pull these yes. up so you could see them. So what I think is interesting when you look at this first graph 
is if you look at April 2023, the number of homes for sale were 1,590. So we're talking inventory. Correct. So at last or April 2023, that was our amount of inventory, 1,590. So now fast forward to April 2024. So now we're in the present day. Well, actually, a month ago. And there was 2,100 and what's that say? 37. 37. My glasses mm-hmm. on for that. Um, so there's more so inventory. So a lot more inventory, which you to me, this, I don't know which way the market's going to go. So, okay, you guys are sitting on more inventory. Well, I'm going to tell you the benefit of that. You as a buyer, you have a lot more to choose from. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, back last April, you were kind of, subject to like if you're a buyer what's going to come on I mean we've had even this April the April that we're talking about with more inventory we dealt with probably three or four buyers we have another one sitting right now waiting for a specific area for things to come on so we're even experiencing low inventory now much less a year ago when I mean that's pretty significant 600 homes less yeah. Um, so we definitely have a little bit more inventory, which in our opinion is good for buyers. Yeah. All right. Hopping back over. So here's my next graph, ladies and gentlemen, is average and median sale prices. So everyone's like, oh, people who bought, you know, last year, they're going to, the market's going to tank. It's going to go down. Actually, Are you seeing a lot of short sales? Are you seeing yeah. people and give their houses back? And I want to say Colorado Springs is a pretty, or not, we're not even on here. Now we're back. <laughs> I want to say that Colorado Springs is a pretty, um, you know, sheltered housing market. Insulated. We, insulated. That's the word we I use. like sheltered. Sheltered. <laughs> we're <as> sheltered, <laughs> but we are. And I think a lot of that is all of our military installations. We have that constant movement of um, military personnel and contractors and everything else going along with that in and out. So I think I think it's that part. I also think it's because we're a great place to live. Like we always True. rank number nine on best places to live in the U.S. Um, and there is obviously parts about our city we would change, but you have the weather, you have the days of sun, you have um, the mountains, the outdoor recreation, you have Pikes Peak that is just right there. Um, and so I do think it's a desirability. Like how many people do we call and they're like coming back because they were here at one time or they were, well, stationed here or they were here for a little while and now and they know like, they're we coming come back. back. We want to either retire here, raise our kids here. You know, what does that look like? And so I think that was a big um, thing. So our market is holding steady. So if I look at those numbers, you know, right now our average price in April um, was 564 thousand basically so it's gone Which, up from last april it's still over thirty thousand dollars more and that's really what we tell people when they're making a real estate investment in the colorado springs area we're like even on slower years we usually average three to four percent in home equity each year and that holds true with these numbers. Yeah. Like you still, if you bought that same house last April, it's now selling for over $30,000 more this April. So yes, we have more inventory, but home prices are still continuing to trend upwards in that 3 to 4% growth, um, which means still a great real estate investment. Yeah. And I will say that we always advise our clients to go in on a good... Um, a good deal. Like we're not going to tell you. We told th- two clients this last week to walk away. We're like they're overpriced, and Kaylin's like, I worry about them. What if they had to sell in a year? Like our our what we look out for is your bottom line, and we want this to be a good investment for you and your family. Here we have two or three listings that sold within a year of buying, and they walked away with some really good equity during one of these slower markets where everyone says you're not going to make any money off of it. Mm-hmm. I personally bought an investment property. Uh, October of 2022 and sold it this last November um, and made good equity on it. Kayleen bought a house up in Wolf Ranch and you have some good equity on that already when you run Oh comps. my gosh, that's what he, my husband and I even talk about. Yes, it, it's been a little bit of a struggle because we had to lock in when the rates were really high. Yeah. But if I'm looking at 
what I bought the house for and what I can sell it for now, I've never made that great of money on a real estate investment that quickly. Yeah. And so, yes, there's good and bad. You have to be able to deal with the um, interest rate where it was at. We're still locked in. I'm at 7.87% interest rate. I can refinance this month and you better bet I'm going to be doing that. But if I'm looking at our total investment, it's a great investment for this last year. Yeah. All right. So on to my next slide for you guys. Okay. All right. Now we're going to look at average days on market, which I think is This is interesting. This shows exactly what we were feeling. Sorry, I hit my mic, I think. Mm -hmm. But this shows exactly what we were feeling feeling (laughs) last or this last April. So if you will look at this, our average days on market um, dropped in April and we were seeing that like it was almost like a hot housing market again which reflected the same thing back in April of 2023. Yeah. 39 days on average on market and now it's just 40. And that is what we are feeling because we are going out showing houses and by the weekend they were gone if they were in the right area, priced right, and a nice updated home. They're going. Yeah, they're going fast. So just interesting, average days on markets holding the same from last April to this April. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then the other one I pulled is, this one I think is, everything's interesting to us for real estate agents. But if I look at April of 2023, if you see that, there's 1,090 um, homes that have sold. And then if I look at this last April, only 959. So the number of units, our prices are going up, but the number of units was down. And I'll be curious to see how that holds through the summer. Um, I think, I don't know. I'm curious how that goes. I feel like we're staying really busy as we were last summer. Um, but that does tell me that there is slowing down in the number of sales. So I do think it's a good time to be a buyer. I'm not just saying that because if it's a crazy market, mm-hmm. we are writing multiple offers and going Ugh, with appraisal gaps. Tough. It was real tough. Right now, our buyers have some breathing room. Like, we're, they have some uh, negotiation power And some as well. time to think about their investment yes. a little bit. Now, with that being said, I think part of those numbers that we're feeling, some of those houses that are sitting there, we were advising a client who was focused in on a certain area, and there were three or four sellers in one area that in our opinion, were just high, higher than they should be. Yeah. And so those homes that are high. not priced right, or maybe it's a bad location or the house is outdated, they are sitting there. Yeah. And so if you're seeing some homes on market, it's probably one of those things. Lori and I help advise you when you're looking specifically at a home. You know, we pull a CMA. We look at the not only the past sales in the past you know, six months, year, but we're also looking at those neighborhood trends, what kind of upgrades the homes have themselves. Can we justify the list price or are they really priced too high? Yeah. So I think we're seeing, it's a, it's a mixed bag, folks, of what we're seeing. It's a great time to be a buyer, though, because I feel like it's an even market. Yeah, it's, it, there are some houses that go that we've had houses with multiple offers, and then we've also had homes where you can go in and you can go a little bit below. We just got one up in Woodland Park. We were um, a little bit below, and we got them some um, concessions. What, we started 28000 20, under? 22. 22. And they came up to, like, we got it at, like, a 15 14, under. 14, 15, 15 under. under. Um, but they still have that negotiation power, which is nice. And so it's not quite the frenzy that it was back in them. So anyways... It's a, it's a little bit of everything. Everyone wants a little market update, um, but that that's where we're at. So look below. There's our um, interactive map. So it has a little map you can click on and see all the tours of neighborhoods. That helps put it into perspective of where these neighborhoods are and puts you on the street, lets you see the homes, let you see the area. Um, it's like you're kind of here with us, we're hoping. And then there's also a relocation guide that has information about schools. A lot of information. Hiking, It's even great if you're just visiting the area. It's really a nice guide. Lori also put together for our local Facebook group a flip book that has all of our favorite contractors and restaurants and all that. You can go over to Facebook, request to be a member of Colorado Springs, what's going on. It'll be on there. It'll be done next week, hopefully when this 
and I'll probably put a link. Hopefully I'll have it done. This will make me get it done. So. But I will say we are getting a lot of reach outs for this summer and even into the fall. And so if you're thinking of making that move, reach out to us sooner rather than later. There's actually some really good um, new home areas that we we should start covering some of those newer areas or newer sections, I should say, of those bigger master plan communities that are coming out. But Lori and I, we know our neighborhoods, we know our schools, um, we're really good at what we do. And so if you're yep. thinking of making that move to Colorado Springs, we'd love the opportunity to help you guys out. So Put those phone numbers in your phone, reach out to us, it's us that you get on the other line. And we'd love to help you navigate that move to Colorado Springs, or even if you're only pondering it at this point, we can put information in front of you to see if it's a good fit. So for now, we're out from Colorado.